Hello and thank you for choosing Fitness with Michael. As usual, before starting an exercise or diet program, please consult your doctor. And please share my videos, please subscribe, and please give me a thumbs up. Uh, today we're going to be talking about four tricks on how to get stronger. Now, keep in mind, you're going to be using these tricks. You want to always isolate the muscle. You're not worrying about how much weight you're lifting. You're worrying about isolating the muscle, working the muscle. Um, most, most cases, you want to keep the form perfect. I'm going to show you one example where you might stray a little bit from that. Um, the, for the muscle to get to get bigger, it must get stronger. The stronger the muscle, the more lean muscle mass you have, the faster your metabolism. The faster your metabolism, the more fat you're burning at rest. You're always trying to beat last workouts uh, record, whatever you want to call it, last workout. You're always trying to beat the last workout. So let's say you did um, 10 reps of incline curls with 20 pounds in each hand. And that was to failure. That was the most you could do. Next workout with the same exercise, we're seeing doing biceps, you want to try to get to 11 if you can. You don't want to sacrifice form. You want to keep everything. You want to isolate the muscle. But you're always trying to get uh, more, you know, beat the last record. Um, let's, every rep that you do, when you're working out, every rep that you do has to be like it's being done to music. You want to keep a rhythm going with each repetition. Up, one, two, down, one, two, three. Up, one, two, down, one, two, three. Up, one, two, and so on. Keeping a rhythm when you're doing the set. Now, let's go over the four tricks. We're going to do the first trick, which is called rest pause. It's a rest pause principle. Now, you're doing the set, and you're trying to keep your, you're keeping your rhythm going. The one, two, down, control, one, two, three. Keeping the rhythm, and you can't do any more reps by keep, keeping the rhythm. So there's a principle called rest pause where you're going to rest at the bottom or rest at the start of the uh, exercise, and then you're going to do the rep. And then you're going to rest, pause, rest, and then you're going to do the rep. Again, isolate the muscle, keep in perfect form, and you can continue doing that so you can't do that anymore. Which will bring us to the next principle, next trick, which are called partial reps. Now, you can't do any more rest pauses. You've, you've continued. You've gotten to the end of this. So now you're going to be doing partial reps where you're bringing the weight up, lifting the weight, contracting partially up, still isolating that muscle, bringing it to failure, really blowing away at the muscle there. Now, when you can't do any more partial reps, the next principle we're going to talk about is the forced, I'm sorry, the uh, cheating principle. Sorry about that. The cheating principle. That's the next one. This one's a tricky one. You got to be very, very careful. Very careful not to get hurt. So you're not cheating, using your whole body crazy, trying to cheat the weight up. Just for the sake of getting the weight up. You're just using a little help with your body. Just a little bit to get some momentum going. And then you're going to control it on the way down. A little help. Control on the way down. you got to be very careful with this trick. This principle. You want to make sure you're not going to get injured. And you're still isolating the muscle. Especially on the negative. On the way down you want to do that. When you can't do any more... Cheat principle reps. Then we'll bring us to the fourth trick, which is called forced reps. Forced reps are takes it to the last step, and that would be someone actually helping you lift the weight up 
because you can't cheat anymore. You can't do any of that anymore. And lift the weight all the way up, and then you're controlling it, the negative, on your own, down. They're not helping you on the way down. They help you up, and then you control the negative on the way down. You want to use these four principles on the last set of the exercise. So let's say you're doing three sets for curls, dumbbell curls. The first rep, the first set is 20 reps and you go to failure. So now you add a little weight or add some weight and you do the second set to 15 reps to failure. Now you're on your third set. You add some weight and you're doing your third rep and you can do these principles on your last set of the exercise. You don't want to do them on every single set. You want to overtrain either. You want to do it on the last set of the exercise only. And using these principles and beating last workout, trying to beat last workout, you'll get stronger and stronger and stronger. If you don't beat last workout, don't worry about it. Eventually you will. Using these principles, you're isolating the muscle, you're burning the muscle, you're, you're building muscle, speeding up your metabolism. This is great. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for choosing Fitness with Michael. Remember to subscribe to my video, please and my channel, and share the videos and give me a thumbs up. Till next time, have a great day.